Hi, this is Justin with Discover Stuff. Today I'm going to take you through a new feature we call Saved Searches. It also includes a revamp of our current notifications feature, which puts a lot more control in your hands to say how you want to be notified of events on the site. So let's just jump right in. So say I'm looking for a GMC pickup. I'm going to go to the search listings box and type in GMC. And you'll see that my location is Hayes, Kansas with a radius of 250 miles and there are four listings with either GMC in the title or the description. So um, this new feature, you'll see a, a new box over here on the upper right that says save this search and we have, even have this little bubble for a little while as the feature is new so people know to look for it. But I'm going to go ahead and click save this search. Pops up this little box that says give it a name. It, it has the name that you gave it in the search and then automatically it's checked to send me notifications and we'll go through that here in a sec. All right. Once I saved it, now you see that the, the red box has changed to remove saved search instead of saved search. One of the reasons why you would use a saved search is to make it easy to come back to uh, the items that you're looking for without having to remember exactly what the search term was or the location. So in order to get to those settings, you just click on your username and you see this saved searches link. And on this page, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's, it's got the name of the, uh, the search that you created, the keywords, and then the criteria, and whether or not you want to be notified um, when a listing with the keyword of GMC comes on the site. So uh, the, the first reason you use a saved search is to, again, get, get back quickly to whatever it was you're searching for. So when you're on this page, just click on that GMC, and you'll see it takes you back to the, the most current um, version of that search. So if three more pickups came online since you created that search, this page will look differently. As well as if some of these had been sold, they will now come off. Um, so that, that's another reason why you would use the saved search. And probably the most powerful feature of this new saved search notification combination is the notification part itself. Um, once you've got the saved search, now you can be notified when items come on the site with that term. So in order to get to the notifications, you'll see this little bell up here. Click on that. If I had any new, new notifications, it would show up right here. I don't have any yet because I just created it. Um, but in order to get to my settings, I click on the notification settings link. And here you're going to see all the options available to you for no getting notifications, not just save search. But for this purpose, we're going to focus on save search down here kind of in the middle. Basically what it means is anytime a new listing is posted with one of your saved search terms, you'll, you'll be notified via the web, email, SMS, and in the future once our mobile app is updated via mobile push to the app itself. Uh, and here's where you're in complete control. If you don't want to get emails, you only want to get SMS, you uncheck whichever ones you're not interested in, click save, and there you go. Basically what each of these means is when web is checked, up here the little bell We'll now get a one, two, three, four, however many notifications are, there are waiting for you to, to check on. Email, every time a, a saved search is, is hit with your keywords, you're going to get an email letting you know that there's a new GMC pickup. Same thing with SMS, it'll go to your phone if you've got a, a mobile phone associated with the site. So that's saved search and the new notification feature. Um, we would love to hear your feedback. If you've got positive or negative thoughts, you can email me at justin at discoverstuff.com. If you have any questions or concerns at all, thanks.